Have you ever wondered how your food gets processed so it extends shelf life of fresh produce as well as offers food safety and reduces or removes pathogens from the food? Well, today we'll discuss paper by Dr. Vivian Vu and her colleagues where she compares chlorine dioxide with ozone for treatment of fresh produce and more importantly her efforts in scaling up these technologies. Good afternoon. So today I want to talk to you about this uh, wonderful manuscript that fairly recently came out from Dr. Vivian Vu's group and it's the effectiveness of closed circulation gaseous chlorine dioxide or ozone treatment against bacterial pathogens and produce. So I prepared a couple of slides I wanted to share with you. So there is the link to the manuscript uh, as well as the announcement about it on the USDA website. So what's the problem? Why are we stopping to use bleach? Uh, well, it needs optimal treatment conditions, right pH, right temperature, water needs to be pretty clean from organic contaminants, which present a problem frequently. Uh, there are environmental impacts connected to chlorine or, or bleach. There is residual moisture from washing can lead to mold growth. There's cross-contamination risks, especially when you're using these uh, large water wash stations. There are challenges with water use and water recycling. So conclusion that Dr. Wu's paper suggests is gaseous treatments might be a better solution. Her group investigated uh, use of chlorine dioxide in comparison with ozone for disinfection of food stuffs. Specifically, she looked at E. coli, salmonella, and listeria on the surface of baby cut carrots, blueberries, and uh, beefsteak tomatoes. And the big advancement of this publication as compared to others is she actually used uh, two kilograms of each uh, of these. So this is a fairly large system. It's not yet complete industrial scale, but still it's more than a few grams in a Petri dish. Her experimental protocol is to take a large jar, mix bacterial cultures, inoculate six and a half logs. That's about uh, 6.5 times 10 to the six. So lots of lots of colony forming units per gram of produce. So again, reminding you that the treatment is up to two kilograms. So this is a lot of, a lot of bacteria that they're trying to kill. They allow a couple of hours for bacteria to adhere and they place it in a five gallon bucket with a computer fan on top to allow for recirculation of their gaseous chemistry. They treat them for two and a half or five hours. So it's a fairly long time at room temperature. So I guess the system is intended for disinfection during transportation. Then they wash produce with uh, peptone water and uh, do the colony counts to assess bacterial inactivation. Chlorine dioxide is generated in this patented way. Uh, my understanding is they mix two dried powders, but you can uh, read more about this at this uh, ICA Trinova LLC, and you can look up this patent if you want to. Uh, I was not able to find their website, surprisingly. For ozone, they use a commercial off-the-shelf ozone generator, not the best one in my humble opinion but it's fairly inexpensive and uh, you can buy these on Amazon and other other online retail stores especially Alibaba has a lot of these their findings are interesting ozone is good ozone offers some significant inactivation but keep in mind this is a uh, hours two and a half or five hours they're treating and Chlorine dioxide gives them up to a seven log reduction, which is 99.9999999% reduction on carrots and tomatoes, but only 3.7 logs on blueberries for some reason. So there's clearly some optimization that needs to be done. With ozone, surprisingly, they're getting a lot worse reductions. So I would also think at looking at optimizing the ozonation treatments as well. And you can look up the exact numbers in the publication itself. Bottom line, however, is we can treat, you know, kilograms of fresh produce in uh, just five hours, which is for transportation and storage. It's quite acceptable numbers. 
Uh, so thank you very much for listening and watching. Uh, I would very much welcome any feedback. Please uh, either put your suggestions below or contact me at greg at aaplasma.com or look me up on LinkedIn. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.